Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Metal Mines. It is a, I guess, itra, uh, isometric, I guess isometric? It's kind of isometric. Isometric is usually rotated 90 degrees, but whatever. It is a roguelike shooter in the same style as Nuclear Throne and uh, Enter the Gungeon, but with uh, more kind of mecha customization, if that makes sense. You find various parts and can customize your robot accordingly giving them different abilities different stats different weapons uh making some really busted combos from what i know all right there we go oh room complete well that was fast all right so we get a part we get a chain sword some more resources and molten core so passive ability switching overheated weapons grants a chance to cause thermal shock hefty I'm probably going to do a couple of rooms before I go through here. Uh, probably not that one, though. That seems to be a vending machine. Might be a shop. No sense wasting my time with it. Anyway, it's got a couple of bugs from what I know, but on the same side, it's kind of... It's kind of one of those where it's like, I love the idea of these games. I've never been able to get into them. Like, I like Nuclear Throne, but I never really get past the throne itself. I beat it a couple of times, and that was kind of my limitation. And then Gungeon... Yeah, I beat the Dragon a couple of times, but that was, that was where I... I fell off. It was just hard. I can't just teleport back. Yeah, yeah. I love that feature. That's one of the big things for Gungeon for me that I've always been uh, looking for another roguelike. It's like, yeah, how quick is it for me to traverse your roguelike if I can backtrack? If I can't backtrack, then it doesn't matter too much. But if I can, I need to be able to. I'm very glad that drops are handled at the end of every room. Makes my life easier. Okay. We're trying to get a bunch of these things back here. Hope I don't miss anything. And who knows, maybe there are drops that I should pay attention to. There we go. Do these guys drink repair juice? They might. I gotta remember to vent heat. There's a heat system at the bottom. There's no ammunition that you have to worry about. However, heat, uh, the higher heat you have, can you break those? Oh, you can. And they'll actually, like, go down. That's kind of neat. The higher heat you have, the more likely you are to uh, set on fire. You know, once you get into the red zone, you start taking some damage. Uh, the thing is, you might actually want to be there. There's a couple of uh, perks that you can get for this game that actively make it uh, so being in a high heat, uh, like having your heat be really high, uh, ends up making you set enemies on fire, heal, and like do a bunch of extra damage. So there's perks kind of all over the place with this one. For now, I'm just kind of going through trying to grab as much loot as I possibly can. Nope. Gosh, I love the pixel art for this. I might need V-Sync here. There's a little bit of a chop when I'm panning around. Like I said, a little clunky. And I believe this game is early access. Uh, I don't... Oh, what is that? Unless this is the way out of here. Yeah, that looks like the way out. Let's not do that. I don't know why I'm blowing these up. But yeah, there's a little bit of a clunk. I have no idea how uh, how actual buggy it is. Because uh, I haven't gotten too far. But I'm definitely feeling it just a smidge. Whoop. Don't you dare get it. Ow! Whoa! Mecha Dinosaur. It's got laser face. Didn't do too much damage though. I'll just stay away from the spin bots. Oh, is the clunk actually just me shooting? Whoops, whoops. Speaking of me shooting. Okay. So we've got a robot here that heals and a robot here. There we go. The Grant's armor, I think. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's interesting. So you take the armor off the, the big guys and they actually turn small. <laughs> that's actually kind of cute. I like that. I was wondering why my shots were invalid. Okay, anything else? Yeah, we can keep going down. I'm just going to grab whatever. If this game looks familiar to you, I played this about a year ago as part of the Steam Next Vest. Uh, technically, the uh, the wholesome... Uh, oh, shoot. Wholesome games lightning round the... Indie, I don't know. 
It was effectively uh, playing a whole bunch of different games with the Wholesomeverse members, and this is one of the ones that I picked. Was that a year ago? I think that was a year ago. My sense of time is broken beyond all recognition. There we go. Got the healer bot for it. Now we have two more enemies up here. You're not going to laser me again. I know I know what you're about. All right, so what do we have? No, this level keeps going. So we might want to go switch some equipment now that I've actually picked up some things. Uh, let's see, rookie. Oh, wait, no, double barrel shotgun. I'm going to recycle it. Because I want to get some of that equipment. I don't know if I can get more. But let's go back and equip some things. Because now I actually have enough to afford some things. So we're going to do Molten Core. It's heavier. Extra power cap, power restoration. Um, ooh. The one problem is weight. The higher my weight, the slower I go. This one. Active ability sprint. Leave an area of flame on the ground. Okay, that's pretty good. That's an active ability level, but that sounds rad. And now I've got kind of hover legs. Now we do have the chain sword. I gotta try it. And what do we have? So, rookie, air one, arrow two. This one does double the damage, but it's heavier. There's also this. I... Yeah, I'm gonna try and go for that. Can I recycle these? I can. So F to decompose. I don't know. I'm going to hold on to that one very briefly. Do I want to grab this? Sure. Where am I weight wise? Reasonably high. Okay. And the last one is. I'm going to grab Slayer. Okay. And it is installed and upgraded. Uh, so it does take some weight, extra weight 0 0.03. I'm not sure. I don't think I want to remove it, but that gives me a damage boost that lasts, I think for the rest of the run, I think it's 5% and up to 25% uh, for, you know, X number of enemies killed. Okay. Whoop. Okay, I think... I think I might need to rethink this whole sword thing. It does a ton of damage. But it's kind of risky in a way that I am going to take some damage here. I know I can heal. But I don't think... I don't think I want to continue taking that risk. That just hurt. I'll have to figure out how to get melee to work. I think I just need to be more patient. Is the real answer. I also got to use my flame dash a lot more. That's like actually really good. I don't think it's going get to get me out of danger, but it is going to make me do a lot of damage. There we go. I can just kind of keep my distance from these guys. I've always wanted more games where you can specifically customize your mecha more. I always found that to be the most compelling part of... Whoops. Uh, the most compelling part of the armor... Oh, do not run through the bomb dogs. Okay. There we go. Luckily, these things don't have that much HP. Okay, and there's definitely another bomb dog factory here. Oh, enjoy the fire. Now, is that multiple stacks of fire? I think so. Looks like there are three stacks coming off of it. Oh, and some pair of healers. You can't heal yourself enough. Wait. Oh. Now, if that's a boss, what are these portals? Hi? Welcome to the gear manufacturing room. What kind of gear do you need? Body, weapon, actuator, core, and I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go weapon. Uh, standard laser rifle. 
I'll take it. I can always rece recycle it later. Okay. Want more gear. Nope, doesn't look like it can do anything. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, the translation on this is kind of one of the weaker parts. Uh, I remember remarking that on the on that on the demo, but it looks like that hasn't changed. Uh, I didn't expect to see such a type of robot. There's so many parts from other machines. I'm curious how your system works. Well, does it work? I hope I'm not bump bumping into a dumb. <laughs> anyway, let me analyze your system. I'll pay you. Okay, a certain chance you'll get your giddy gear stolen. Ha, thanks. Let's start now. Whatever, it's not like I have too much. Amazing, so amazing. The man who made this change is definitely a genius. A poor genius, I suppose. Look at the parts scraped together. Take what you earned. These data... This data is so interesting. Yeah, it's fine. Hopefully the translation gets fixed, but like, I don't know. I think it's uh, kind of... I don't know if it's right for me to ever complain about, you know, translation one way or another. Uh, let's see, which do I want? Protocol, we want structure. Nope, that's not what I wanted. This one. Okay, structure repairs automatically. That was a whistle. Yeah, so it looks like my max health will slowly repair. Not particularly quickly, I might want to upgrade that a couple of times. What is this? Shop. Anything else? Oh, it looks like it keeps going. The weather is expected to be worse today with local residents littering from higher floors. I don't know. Okay, blast rifle, mine launcher, prototype electron fist, and a new body. Body increases structure and armor cap, current structure 100%. Switches between offensive stance and defensive stance. And that's pretty good. How much do I have? Decent chunk. Passive ability releases mine automata. I The blaster rifle sounds interesting, but I'm going to go for the mine. And that'll be that. Okay, so items have been sent back to the sock. I guess I should have gone stop shopping before I did this. Yeah, let's swap our body out and grab something new. And chain sword for the mine launcher. And we have a submachine gun or a standard laser rifle. Good. Try the laser rifle. Ah. Yeah, looks like we're good. Okay. I look kind of silly, but that's to be expected. That's going to be kind of fun to fire off. Wow. Okay. I... This gun is pretty good. Let me try the mine launcher. I like the idea of them. And it looks like I can use quite a lot of them. Oh. Yeah, the only immediate problem is that they don't really have much of a... They don't have much agency here. Pretty solid if I'm getting pursued. But if I'm not getting pursued, it's not really worth it. Well, that's okay. Alright, we have this sucker. There we are. Room complete. Alright, now that I've had burger, let's open this up. We picked a good time for a burger. Uh, let's see. AMG. Weapon is overheated as projectiles split into small rockets after hitting anything. Alright, that sounds interesting. Overheating is a little, little spooky, but maybe not that big of a deal. If I have the self-healing, then I might be able to swing that without taking too much. Because the idea of going for like a, a... Whoa, this gun has a lot more range than I thought. Doesn't have the best accuracy. But it does have a decent chunk of range. 
Enjoy burning. Okay, stay away from all of these things. This laser rifle just absolutely clobbers. You ain't surviving. Ow. I actually heal from that. It's a little unfortunate, but that's okay. I'm very glad I can see these guys at a distance. There we go. Easily solved. Oh, turning is a problem. My character doesn't actually turn as fast as my cursor. There we go. Room clear. And we got it. All right, cool. Uh, we got one one room left, and then we fight the boss. See what we're up against. I'm really digging the pixel art on this. It. Oh gosh, what is it? Neurovoider. That's what this game reminds me of. This is like a really hyper advanced version of Neurovoider, and I'm actually a huge fan. I loved Neurovoider. Uh, oops back when it came out. Um, I thought that was like such an interesting game, but it didn't have the most interesting of like rogue roguelike style progression. Um, you know, all of the weapons were virtually the same with some, some light differences between each other. And it got kind of repetitive and hard. Um, and I don't know about this one, but this feels like it has a lot of the same systems, but with a little bit more roguelike RNG when it comes to the, the gear and the equipment. Which for me is kind of important. Because I, I wanna I wanna feel like I'm building towards something, an interesting build and a weird idea. Interesting. Oh. I guess I can get another one. Uh core or what is this thing? Oh, that was probably exit or something. All right, so I get Turbo F. Oh, versus Stable Walker. Switch between Fortress Mode, immovable to, but immune to repulsion. Interesting, ability level. Wait, I can, oh, ability level one, two, and three. Where do you level that up? Either way, just gonna recycle it. I like my Bernie feet. All right. Let's get out of here. Are we done with this one? Oh, no, there's actually one here. What is this? Oh, is this like a challenge fight? AWC experimental uh, number dog cage. Testing target group killer. Start? Yes. Oh, of course, dog cage. All right. Well, here's the thing. Uh, let's see. No. We need the laser for this. Oh, interesting. There's another healer. Okay. I would like to get at it. Because if I can kill the other healer, then I have nothing to worry about. Yes, I have taken some damage here. It isn't so bad. And I can just slowly chuck him down. And then all that remains is just a small amount. Ow. It's okay. I'm just gonna run circles. I guess we might as well switch to this. there's only a couple of these and they can do plenty of work okay landmines aren't actually good enough all right yeah, I like I like the idea of them I was hoping that they would have more of an AOE but alas all right whatever okay I did take some damage there we'll probably want to heal though I might want to just go grab the upgrade uh wild rusher nah I think I might go upgrade the healing ability that I have. And Hurricane M1. Pretty bad. And just some currency. I'll take it. Alright, we're done with that. What was the one up here? Oh. Okay. I'm going to leave that for a hot second. 
Because that actually... I mean, it seems like something I'm interested in, but I want to come back here and do some updates first. They're just armor pieces. Oh. Wait, I can, um... I can spend money to refill my armor. Huh. I like that. Uh, but I'm just gonna grab another level of swarm steel. Oh, and they're they're cheap. Cap the currently equipped armor pieces. Armor. Some other stuff. That wouldn't be bad. Advanced to restore power. Increases weapon heat growth. Cooldown speed. Spinning speed, weapon charging speed, max load. And then it doesn't look like I can upgrade that any further. I wanted to see if any of these would actually increase my overall HP. But it doesn't look like it. Wow, that's actually really helpful. Mag magnetic loot will be worth it, but I- oh, there's also advanced chips. What? Uh, looks like I can only equip a couple of them. But that's still useful to know. So I'm gonna grab the AMG. And while we're here, let's get rid of the mine launcher, because that wasn't that helpful. The chain sword. The rookie. And the SMG. I'm not, I'm just not using these. Okay, do we have anything else? No. Uh, so I could potentially buy like one more basic enhancement somewhere. Taking damage grants a chance to restore structure. Cool down five seconds. Structure by 8% all the way up to 15%. That actually doesn't seem like the worst idea in the world. Uh, let's see, restores power. And this one, Heat Repair. During overheat period, has 100% chance to restore your structure by a percentage of the damage dealt. That sounds like that could be really cool. But I'm not going to bother with it. I think I'm going to save up for that armor armor piece thing. Alright, and we're going to do this one. Looks like there might still be a treasure chest here that I missed, too. Or, no, that's probably in the bonus room. I'm still going to double check. Just in case. Alright. Looks like I'm good. Let's give this a shot, because yeah, I'm, I have way more HP now. Time is money. Time is synthetic metal. Ready for a challenge? Yes. Okay. So it is literally just a rocket launcher. I mean, it works well enough for what I need. I'm just gonna take the damage here. If I heal automatically, then I might as well just kind of own it a bit. No, but it, we have to kill this guy. There we go. He's almost dead. I'm just gonna leave them in the fire. In the flames. All right. Avoid that. Nope, didn't avoid, but it's fine. I got plenty. That robot absolutely just looks like an alien, and I kind of love it. Wow. Okay, maybe... Maybe we do want the rocket launcher after all. I knew I needed some AoEs. And I know if I can overheat this thing, it gets pretty punchy. There we go. All right. Interesting that these things seem to have run out of dog bots. I'm not entirely sure why. Well, one way or another, that's a hell of a lot of money. Uh, let's go back to the vending machine real quick. See what they have. Okay, it's just these things. Electron fist. And then there's also the blaster rifle. Which is like kind of tempting. I don't know if it's actually any better than what I've got, but nah. I think I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna make it work. Let's go fight a mid-boss. Mid-boss? An actual boss. Sorry. Hello, big red button. Okay. 
Okay. Switch can be used again. I kind of want to just kill the... I want to kill the uh, bonus modules. I don't know what that does. Oh, I see. It resets. Ow. Okay, I see. I can't do a whole lot of damage to him. And yeah, we're just going to stick to the rocket launcher. That AoE is kind of nuts. What does this switch do? Left turret off, right turret on. That's interesting. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so the blaster rifle does a ton of damage to him. Okay. I'm just going to kill it. There we go. <laughs> Camera angle wasn't moving and kind of didn't matter. What is this? A keep on firing to increase shooting speed. Yeah, that sounds pretty rad. Okay, and I can pan around here. Cool. And that's just the teleporter. I think we're good. Let's just continue onwards. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. There's a very real possibility that I did, but maybe it doesn't matter. Hey, I got my armor back. Rad. Let me take a look. Nope. Just one of these rooms. Alright. I'm going to try and switch these out. And enhancement. Yeah, we still don't have enough. Decent. Hurts. A lot. And there's a lot of enemies in this mix. Oh. Okay. I don't know. I think the rocket launcher is just kind of working better for me in general. Okay, I see you, Rambot. What do you have? Molten Core versus Fever Addiction. When the weapon is overheated, you restore power periodically, or switching overheated weapons grants a chance to cause thermal shock. I'm gonna grab it. It seems like it's just better. And I'm not really using either weapon's special features, to be honest. Okay. And yeah, I've just got plenty of fire to utilize here. And they can't really handle it. It's actually working really well. Grab these. Remember how much meta progression is for this game, but I'm pretty sure it's fairly mild. I saw like a couple of minor upgrades in like starting cores, and that's about it. I'm curious if it gets deeper than that. It doesn't feel like the kind of roguelike that needs it, in my opinion. Like, there's some roguelikes where it's super obvious, like, yeah, you really kind of want to have that meta progression to smooth out the difficulty curve. This one, on the other hand, feels more kind of just like, eh, this is kind of fun for fun's sake. And the meta progression is mostly just there to smooth things out a little bit and give you a sense of progression, however small. I think that's okay. Maybe. I don't know. I know some people get, like, really heated one direction or another. I do find a lot of meta progression you have to do it right, otherwise it does end up just kind of super boring. Okay, so what can we get? Well, there's a chain sword, a watcher. Targeting an enemy for a period will load a powerful projectile. When the weapon is not overheated, the projectiles will penetrate and bounce. Grab that. 
I was hoping there'd be more things. Because it seems to have... Okay. Armor, core, engine, weapon. Armor? See, I was, I was under the impression that this might have other things, but no, it's just got those options. Go back. I'm apparently missing a treasure chest on this room. Ah, yeah, there it is. Alright, let's go back. Rocket launcher is pretty good. Don't care for the machine gun. However, pierce and bounce sounds pretty rad. Let's grab fever addiction as well. That gives us some more... Ooh. So it's a little on the slow side. But that might be fine. I do wish the traps would turn off between rounds. Or maybe they do. Nope. I'm a big fan of roguelikes where the let's see where the traps shut off as soon as you're out of like the combat area or you know as soon as combat is over okay and it doesn't look like the bounce is that good But it is a little faster shooting than the rocket launcher. I don't know. I'll take either. I definitely appreciate the range. And it does clobber through quite a number of enemies here. Grab these. Probably have enough for another upgrade, but let's go down. Okay. Body, weapon, actuator, core. Actuator. Let's see what they have for me. A dragon Breath, HE2. While holding on to the skill button, keeps spurting out and moving and consumes heat in the process. Only heat can kick it, kick it off. Power cost, 4. Confidential. Okay, that sounds interesting. It seems to kind of do a lot of what my current weapon does. Or weapon, my current legs do. But maybe better. Okay. So, I can effectively use it to heat up a weapon, and then I can go speed mode. Interesting. I don't know if it's going to be good. It didn't seem to do any damage, which is maybe unfortunate. But good for getting out of the way. Oh, but I can't shoot during it. I don't know. I think I might take it. It's very good for getting myself out of hot positions. Wow. Wow. Okay. Dim dogs, man. Dim dogs. There we go. Alright, room complete. Grab these bits. Leave anything else behind? No. We're gonna go up. And the only immediate problem is I have to be shooting to actually be jetting. Okay. I'm just gonna try and kill the Rambros. But yeah, I'll, I'll take it from the perspective of it's kind of a really convenient way for me to dump heat really fast. Which is something I don't normally have here. Alright, there we go. There we go. None of those, you. Perfect. Yes, we got. Well, we've already found the boss. Okay, and double barrel shotgun, which in retrospect I should have just recycled. It seems like it might be a shorter level than the last one, which is probably for the best. I don't necessarily mind long roguelikes, but... Like I said earlier, I love the, I, I love the feeling of working towards a build. 
And I love having a run last long enough for it to crystallize into something amazing. I don't actually really like it when a roguelike is so long that you're kind of stuck with it. You know, where it's like, I've been doing this for seven hours. At that point, it might as well just kind of be its own game and just let you as a player kind of play with play in that space. Switch back to the rocket launcher for a little while because they it's a little inaccurate. But I think it does just enough damage to just kill the Rambros right off the bat. The only immediate problem is its fire rate is kind of iffy. There we go. Alright. What do we get? Excavator. Ooh. That might be like a beam? It's a beam. Alright. We also have one of these. Looks like it's an arena fight. Okay. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to grab that... That beam weapon. Excavator. But I think I'm going to stick with the rest of this. Oh my god, that seems pretty spicy. Alright, let's go down here. Hopefully this pierces. Alright, ready for a challenge? Yes. Okay. So here's the beauty. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to stop firing to burn heat here. I just have to move. Okay. Gotta dump some heat. That hurt a bit. That's okay, though. This is ridiculous. It doesn't actually do that much damage, to be honest. But it does enough. Oh. There we go. That was silly. I should go buy some more armor before the boss fight now I'm thinking about it. <laughs> okay. I, I don't actually know if it's that good of a gun, but the the visual effect of this thing just going full ham on everything is very worth it. Okay. There we go. Because, yeah, I just have to do kind of a clean sweep and then let my legs just bleed the heat. Oh, it's satisfying. What is this? Fever Addiction versus Void Partner. Every time you cast an ability, you summon an automaton that can deal damage to the enemy and hit sort of store power up to you. Ooh. Doesn't have as much power restoration, but I don't really use abilities. I'll think about that one. Yeah, there's a whole minion mastery build that you can go for in this game that I haven't really messed with. Okay. I'm just gonna be back here. Toasting, roasting, and then just fleeing in circles. Okay. Wait that for a hot second. And after after a certain point with this, it gets locked in. Oh. I wonder if it's a uh I wonder if it's when my weapon overheats. It said the beam gets thinner, but I, I wonder if uh, the beam getting thinner locks in my my firing angle. No? It just seems to kind of happen, and I'm not quite sure why. Oh well. But yeah, I can I can just keep distance and bleed heat here. And not much can stop me. 
Boy, if I could give this thing a proc. Just really anything. Could render it largely unstoppable. Whoops. Want nothing to do with you. And I don't want to get crushed either. Okay, who remains? Not many. Some turrets. I love this gun. Uh, rookie? Nah, let's just get rid of it. Grab that. And we're gone. I'll definitely have to see if there's any, like, interesting proc effects that I can grab for my current setup. Make it a bit smoother. A lot of unfriendos. But here's the thing. We specialize in being able to kind of hit everything on screen. Ow. Or at least trying to. Okay, whoops. Fine. Only a smidge of damage. And then it's just you. Rad. My room complete. Looks like everything is good. We still haven't found any of the uh, really sick looking chips. Oh, and there is a teleporter here. Uh, let's see, is it another arena room? I don't actually know what this is. Uh, what's going on? There must be something wrong. Oh, sorry, I didn't notice you. This device plagues me. I don't know if I should be conservative to handle this. Do you have any good idea on how to adjust it? Point out the piece of code has an algorithmic problem. Uh, let me see. Well, you were true. I'm wondering how I wrote this. All in all, thanks so much. Hope these help you. That does help, in fact. That's pretty big. Okay, let's just kind of go over here. I'd like to cook the healers if I can, but I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna clean sweep everybody. Oh, I see. When I'm dashing, I'm locked into a moving, uh, a facing angle and can't rotate. That's what it is. That's what was throwing me off. We have down here. Another arena room. Okay. I'm going to go back to this real quick just to buy something. Let's see. We also have the void partner. And I'm just going to get rid of the double barrel shotgun. And the minigun, neither of which are going to be that helpful, given this. Okay, enhanced. So universal overheat. I, the one option that I could do is hot party. Projectiles of overheated weapons have a chance to burn the target. Like, that's kind of tempting. Kind of. I'm going to grab that. Oh, that's heavy, though. And each level of this is kind of absurd. The one thing I will say is we might want to go back. Increase our basic load. What else do we have? Damage on burning enemies. Damage on paralyzed enemies. We already have Slayer. Weapon charging speed. Which is actually kind of useful in and of its own right. Oh, let's see. There's cooldown. Venting pipe. Increases the weapon's spinning speed and attack speed if it's not overheated. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to go back down here. We're going to upgrade my healing. Which doesn't seem to go up too much in... Uh, oh, and this is the one that increases max HP. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, honestly. Yeah, the more HP I have, the better. There we go. And then we still don't have any of these chips. I really should probably get some. But for now... 6.30. Yeah, I got plenty of money. Because it's, uh... We've got an arena, and then we've got a boss. Might as well do both. Okay, dog cage. Oh, we've already done dog cage. Which is hilariously easy. Given my current loadout. Like, good goodbye. Goodbye, dogs. There are no dogs. 
All dogs must burn deep diver. After hitting enemies, chance to summon a mechanical armed automaton. Ooh. That sounds kind of fun. And prototype assault rifle. I don't know if it's any good. It might be good. I'm going to grab it. And we grab one of these. Okay, so I'm going to go back here. Let's go grab that, uh, the squid gun. Deep diver. There we go. <laughs> so wiggly. I was not expecting it to be wiggly like, like that. Okay, so it's a spread shot weapon that summons dudes. Sounds good to me. All right, what are we fighting? This dude. Okay, that's a lot of missiles. Okay. And I'm summoning I'm summoning a lot of goons ow missiles. Yeah, I should I should actually destroy the missiles he's firing at me. Rather than letting them hit me. Well, I'm enjoying all of my little squid friends that I just can summon freely. Invalid, invalid, invalid. Ooh. Okay, no, now he's taking some damage. And yeah, I can just go in circles. Infinite cooldown. Ow. I do have to worry about that a little bit. He can hurt me. It's a little hard for him to do so, but he totally can. I don't know if the squid friends are actually that good of damage, but it certainly feels like we're doing a lot here. Got him. Well, that was easy. All right, we got enhanced submachine gun, unstoppable. Fair. I'll grab it. I don't know if I'm going to want to give up either of these guns though. Like I'm I'm sitting on some pretty pretty solid stuff here. One then summons just gobs of dudes for me to fight with, and another one that just deletes the whole rooms. Kind of slowly, but, you know. Okay. Yeah, this, this is invaluable. Being able to just toast whole rooms with, worth of foes. Like, that is by and far the best AoE I could have possibly asked for. Electron Wrath. When power is full, en energy spills to deal damage periodically. Interesting. Only media problem is it doesn't have any energy generation. However... Oh, no. That does use a little bit of energy. I'll think about that. That could still be useful. I'm just worried that it's... Let's see. I'm just worried that it's not going to have anything. Uh, like any region, and then it's going to be a problem. Okay, I wonder how long these runs are. That's another question. There we go. I'm just going to not be here anymore. Excuse me. Farewell to your arms. Your arms. Farewell to your arms. Oh, there was something there. And then this guy just... I don't know. Took out his processor, left nothing left. Yeah, I like this gun too much. It's going to be hard to switch away from it. Ooh, dog cage again? Dog cage again. Dog cage. Start? Yes. Normally those healers are kind of a problem, but here? It's a funny joke. 
That's what it is. Just cook them all. Let Clank sort them out. All right, what do we have? A ship cannon. When it's not overheated, it increases attack speed. I, okay, I might have to try some of these though. This is, mm, I don't think this is any good. It might actually have been real good, but I don't know. Let's go back. Let's go slap some of these on. I have to try them at the very least. Let's put away the squid gun. It's good against bosses, but other things, eh. Oh, it's extra power restoration. Sure, I barely use power to begin with. Uh, I'm gonna do advanced. Oh. Okay. Hopefully those stick around. I go back. Advanced, yeah. So the feedback system. Hitting enemies grants a chance to dissipate a certain percentage of heat. Cool down two seconds. That sounds really useful. Looks like it can also level it up. Okay, I will say this core does not... Have my, wow. This core has minimal. Uh, there we go. Minimal energy regen, and that's a bit of a problem. So the ship cannon is kind of hilarious. It's effectively just a hyper rocket launcher. And just fire, fires like uber shells. It's good, but I don't think it's really me. It's also very heavy. Okay, so I'm gonna swap this out. Let's try the enhanced sub submachine gun. Uh, advanced. I'm gonna grab the feedback system, at the very least. It looks like I can upgrade it as well, which is pretty useful. Huh. Machine gun, this SMG is kind of interesting. Okay, this hurts. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say this is probably the better gun just for everything. Okay, and what do we have? Beta. Keep firing to increase shooting speed. Well, we're finding a lot of legendary guns, which leads me to believe this might be the last of the levels. Maybe. It's hard to tell without some kind of guide here to tell me. Get the lasers. Oh, boy. There we go. Keep distance. It certainly cooks them. All right, is there an enemy left? Yes, there is. I think I can do double damage to them if I actually get the beams to cross on their face. Uh, let's see, I'm not taking too much yet. Ow. Wow. Okay, stay away from big punches. You just keep distance. We'll cook him down. There is nothing else. This beam is silly. Yeah, no. I'll definitely want to find like a good weapon for single target fighting a boss, but if I want to if I want to take a groups of enemies, this this is my jam and I don't think I can switch away. Okay, so this was no good. I'll try that one. There's also the assault rifle beta which I should give a shot. Okay, enhancement. A uh, couple of things. No, I think I want to just keep going for swarm type steel. Giving my myself that self heal over time is kind of invaluable. 
So it's a minigun. Seems decent versus groups. Okay. There we go. Ow. Just kind of keep distance, try and cross the streams, and then wipe you out. All right. Uh, let's see, an enhanced sniper rifle. That might be a good boss killer. Shielding Sierra, take a defensive action that releases a shockwave, become immune to damage taken. Um, it is heavier. Armor cap is higher, health is higher. It's probably better than what I currently have. might be better against the boss though because one thing is the current thing I have does increase my damage by 15% which cannot be understated in terms of its usefulness all right time is money time is in fact money just only matters so much there we go. Stay away from Fistobot. I want nothing to do with it. Same thing with all these missiles. You do not threaten me. I'm the living AoE. There we go. All the healers, which are usually kind of a pain because they're on the other side of all of these enemies, they're just not. They just don't exist. They're not a problem. Okay, I'm just gonna fire this off. We can get the speed boost. Silly as that is. Yeah, I just gotta stay away from the fists. Ooh, this got hectic. At least HP wise, I'm doing fabulously. Just clear distance, clear heat. Go right back to cooking them. There we go. Money, some chips. I like all of those things. What about over here? Eh. It's a concern. Okay, I think that was a healer bot, but it's hard to tell. Ooh. And I'm still not taking much for damage. The shotgunners like to kind of sneak up on me. But most of the other enemies just can't get close. Try as they might. Try as they want. Right, we found the boss. I don't know if this game has any secrets. So I will say this core is not as good as I was hoping it would be. I was hoping the uh, the core would work out really well. Maybe if I had better, ooh. Uh, let's see, maybe if I had better energy regen outside of this, but I'm, I'm actually using this heat dump a lot more aggressively than I thought. Okay, QRL. After charging launches four projectiles and triggering cool, when triggering cooling launches six. Interesting. So, effectively, kind of chunky... Uh, kind of chunky rocket launcher. Bye, sir. Okay. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep torching these guys excuse me I don't want to burn but I'll burn if I have to it's just you yeah it's just you 
levels just keep going. It's fine. Ooh. And we got a loot room. I do have to... Oh, no. This business again. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of... Uh, variance in the random events at the moment. Which is a bit of a shame. But at the same time, I don't mind that one. It gives me goodies. Like, 100 chips is pretty good. Okay. Oh, and I am very trapped here if I... Ow. Wow. It's just like a random shot will just knock me into a corner and then I'm kind of stuck there for a little while. Okay, is it just these guys? Nope. There's more. There were more. Oh no, there weren't more. Those were missiles. Okay, what do we have? We have you. What kind of gear? Actuator. I don't know. I'll take whatever. Stalker. Jump. I'm just going to recycle that one. I currently like my Dragon's Breath. It's pretty useful. Okay. Uh, let's see. So not much left. Let's just swap them some things out. Uh, let's see. So we do have the Enhanced Sniper Rifle. Well, here's the damage. How much... Okay, so that does 100 damage. How much does Squid Gun do? So it's heavier. The damage is variable. It attacks more often. This crit is lower. Heat production is about the same. Overheating time... It says 6, but I don't know if that's actually faster. Trigger type auto. I don't know. I think I might want to hold on to the Deep Diver. Those little guys were kind of helpful. Okay, and I can't upgrade this further. But 3% three, 3 of HP every 4 seconds is still pretty good. I don't think that armor thing is actually that helpful. Uh, let's see, every automaton released increases damage reduction. Up to 20 stacks. I'm not going to have that many. Increases damage of automata once up to 20 stacks. That's interesting. Colony protocol. If you max that out, that becomes obscene. Same thing with tech support. Um, the one thing I could consider is increasing my max load. But I might want to just refresh this, see if I get something spicy. Hopefully that helpful. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'll just give myself some extra load for the time being. Overheat, nothing left. Okay, let's see if this is the end or if we've got more. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do. Let me go back over here. We're gonna switch this core back out. It's a void partner. I'm actually, I'm gonna do that. Because void partner, it doesn't have the best energy regeneration, but we don't need it to be that good. I don't, I hope. I forgot to get armor. I think I'd remember this. Adjust armor pieces. There we go. Not even that pricey. Alright, back we go. Damage is good. I've got the squid gun. I've also got the murder laser. I don't know what we're up against. I really like the pixel art on these bosses. They look really cool. Oh, Hal. Okay. I don't think that's that good, unfortunately. Am 
I'm just going to hang out back here. And summon a whole bunch of squid friends. There we go. Oh, the cooldown reduction. That's the cooldown reduction that they were talking about. Okay. Well, I don't actually want to be there when that's going. Let's just keep summoning goons. Or the boss leaves. Back? Well, here's the thing. You may summon all of the little goons you like, but they're not really much of a threat to me. I brought hyper lasers. Okay, this hurts. Fine. We'll just squid gun here. They're just as good in their own right. Just have to make sure I don't overheat too much. But the real answer is just lasers. Oh, or get stunned. Actually, ow, 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 ow. Woo! That hurts. Do not, I repeat, do not get caught in the void. Okay, I might not survive this. At least I heal some amount of HP. There it is. Room complete. Oh boy, that hurt. Please tell me that was the end. Double barrel shotgun beta. And we're finally getting a lot of... Legendary guns, which sounds like a good thing. Is this the end of the run or super final boss or this must be the end of the run? Maybe. If there's a portal showing up, uh, all right. Today is just going to be one of those days, I guess. All right. Uh, let's see. Like, so I'm going to start decomposing some of these guns that I don't want or need. Because at this point, we don't really need most of these. Some of them were pretty dang good. I'll give a lot of credit for that, but... Yeah, I just don't need them. That was just a machine gun. That's the enhanced SMG. I might hold on to that just for the time being. Benefit on this thing. Not too much. Yeah, there's like a shielding aura that I can do. But let's not. I think I want to get the last level of swarm swarm type steel. And also structure enhancement. Let's go for the max HP for the time being. Alright, and let's get this done. Whatever this level is, it better be the end. Otherwise, these levels are getting too long. But... If if I took a creepy portal to get here, then this is probably the end of a run. And it's one of those where, you know, back in the day, whoops. Back in the day, I used to be very much in favor of like, you know, half an hour episodes for YouTube and stuff. Nowadays, I'm just kind of like, I'm going to finish the run. One video, one run. Doesn't matter how long it is. Not always the best system, frankly. Uh, but from my perspective, I don't know, I, it feels better. It's better than leaving things half finished at the very least. Okay. What can I do for you? So grenade launcher, thermal axe, and some other stuff. The shop's kind of useless, unfortunately. Which is a bit of a shame. Give her to the ninja if I can. 
we are burning mana like nobody's business. Or mana armor. I don't know what I was saying. Playing something else with mana recently and I don't remember. Oh, right. I know what I was playing. Playing Astria Ascending yesterday. Which, like, gosh, I really love JRPGs. It's super weird. I don't cover a whole lot of them on my channel anymore. I wish I could. I wish I could play through them, like, back to back in, uh, in totality, but it's definitely one of those where I start running out of things to talk about, and also they do tend to get a little dull. But I've been playing a couple of them over the last couple nights, and it's like, yeah, this is, like, actually just really fun, and I kind of miss doing it. As a kid, JRPGs were my, like, kind of my comfort food and also just my thing to do. Ow, 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 ow. Wow. And luckily I've got a ton of... a decent amount of HP. It's not a ton. But I've got a chunk of HP that I can just kind of rely on here. I might want to get that overheating causes... uh gets you a little bit of healing just to see if it does anything on this gun because I can see it healing me through all of the damage I take from overheating though I'm definitely very much equipped for not overheating at the moment. This is a very low heat run. I don't know. I might just stick with the regen for the time being. And especially because I have no choice and I've already invested pretty hard into it. If I ever do another run of this game, and what I'm probably going to do is just throw this on the roguelike roulette unless people really, really want me to play more of it. Um, but... What I'll probably do... Uh, let's see, time is money again? Time is money. I don't actually care. Maybe? I mean, it's fast enough, is the real answer. Beyond that, I don't know. Uh, let's see. But yeah, this definitely feels like the kind of perfect roguelike roulette game, where I load it up, randomly, randomly decide to do a run, No, I have to straight up switch weapons. That's interesting. That shotgun is a problem. Unless the overheat carries over between. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, the damage on it is fantastic. It's just, I have to not use it. Constantly is the answer. Not really a big deal. But I will still say, this gun remains king. Incomplete. Hurts, but it remains king. Okay, let's go back. There we go. Credit where credit is due, though, the shotgun is good for boosting around rooms and getting places. Okay, go back to this. Because as much as that shotgun is really good, uh, the one consistent problem it runs into is an utter lack of AoE. It does some good damage against certain enemies, but... These rooms are filled with, like, just gobs of folks. There we go. We'll wait for those to go. I don't know. Let's go left. I'm going places. 
But yeah, going along with the whole like one of those days rogue uh roguelike runs for a full episode and I won't uh you know Oh, uh, what was I going to say? Oh interesting. Once we hit overheat, my get rid of the ninjas if I can. My dash will no longer consume enough heat. But anything less than that is okay. Kind of interesting thing to note. Okay. Well, luckily I have enough healing that I can more or less go back up to full HP after a little while of just not fighting too hard. Okay, it's you again. I like you. Yeah, I don't know what the other one gets me, but this seems consistent enough to just give me 100 chips. And I need those 100 chips. Because we want to buy some goodies. I haven't even messed with the equipable chips yet. I was expecting those to be loot like everything else, but alas, they're not. Okay, I'm just gonna scoot over here. No ninjas. I just wish this almost had like a stacking poison that I could proc with it or something. Any Anything that would cause this to just apply loads and loads of debuffs to an enemy would be freaking peerless. Because yeah, I could just wipe everything out. There we go. Grab those. Oh, there's a portal here. Well, instead of finding it, I guess I can just warp over to it. I... sure. You know what? This is fine. Dog cage. There really are, like, no events. For better or worse here. It is just dog cage over and over and over again. Okay, then there's just one. Excuse me, sir, you cannot escape from me. Wow. No, never mind. I'm used to dog cage paying out reasonably well. But I was wrong. Okay, this is a bad place to be. And yeah, like previously, shotgun does fantastic damage. I think I'll want it against the boss. Pretty mediocre in these fights. I, I will definitely give... Uh, oops. Grab that. Uh, definitely give some credit one way or another towards... Well, credit? Uh, critique? This game definitely feels like AoE is too valuable. And that most... Most rooms don't actually feel like you're fighting enemies, you're just fighting a mass, kind of like a creeper world. I think that's actually a fine thing to do, but it definitely means that, like, there are certain guns that are just going to be an infinitely better. Uh, but then most of those will probably drop off in the boss fight, so I think it's very much like, what's your room clearing gun? And then what's your, uh,. What's your room clearing gun, and then what is your your gun to just absolutely annihilate the boss? I doubt there's going to be a whole lot of crossover on that. But you never know. Excuse me, none of that healing. I am the one that heals. You? No. Please, please be the last level. If this is not the last level, I, I don't know. I might have to start re-evaluating things. I will say, I feel like the uh, the chips that you can make for a hundred, uh, for the hundred blue chips or whatever, I wish those dropped from enemies. That it's kind of awkward to gamble, like roll the dice for them and 
hope you get something amazing when, you know, there's no guarantee. Okay. We've got a couple of enemies left. It's only a couple. Maybe this is the weapon for it. There we go. Feels kind of like it. We still got it keeps going. But mainly just rolling for those chips is kind of uninteresting because it's just like, am I actually going to want this chip? And the answer is, I don't know. Okay. There we go. That's the beauty stuff. Toast them all. Continue to toast him. Do not stand so close to the spinny men. I don't think they actually do a whole lot of damage to me, but you know. Still a good idea not to. There we go. Trajectories are actually kind of fun. Bouncy weapons are fantastic in games like this. Like, it's just... It's great. Hey, nope, we're almost done. Now, I could die against the boss. It is a possibility. I think I'm still going to keep stacking HP and we'll just see what else I can do. Oh yeah, there's just a lot of these dudes. Ow. Don't corner me. But yeah, I could definitely see without this level of AoE and movement speed how easy it would be to get overwhelmed here. Oh, it's just this guy. There we go. What are you? Oh, you're new. Oh, hello. We have a provider of long-distance cannon service. Interested to try out so our support ser service? Show me how it works. We'll bombard random spots in the battle in the next room. Aware, there will be friendly fire. The effect will disappear after the battle in that room. No. Because that's going to be the boss fight. And I'm pretty sure that's going to hurt me more than it's going to hurt the boss. I don't need extra things to dodge in that situation. Okay, so I could do more here, but I don't think I care. We could increase my weight capacity. See if we get anything new. When cooling, you'll strike to the direction of the weight to the weapon points for a distance. Inflict damage upon the enemy impacted. Killing enemies, chance to cool weapons. Now I should have just upgraded that. Let's see, do I have any other things to get rid of? I could. Oh, yeah. We can get rid of all of these extra cores. It seems like it could have been kind of fun, but eh. What about this? Shielding Sierra? Yeah, let's just get rid of them all. Go back to this, upgrade this again. So that's a 35% chance to remove 20 heat every 2 seconds. Rad. Which, considering how quickly I attack for most of mine, that should be constant. Alright, let's just hope this is the end. Oh... Two things I, I keep forgetting. I'm actually gonna switch away from the shotgun. Good as it might be, squid gun's better. And max my armor out. There we go. Now I'm in a reasonably good spot. We've got tons of meta currency. Yeah, you look... You look last boss-ish. Okay, then that hurt. Here's a question. I'm just gonna laser him. Hit those. 
and avoid for a little while. I don't... I, I think I'm ripping his arms off. We are losing a lot of shields here, though. Yeah, that hurts. I don't know what these drills are. I don't know if actually hitting them is worth it. It seems like I'm just popping his, his bits off pretty effectively here. That, you know, just continue, continually Andros the guy until he has no arms left. I think what I'm supposed to do is stun him so that his head becomes vulnerable. There we go. Well, this is the second stage. That's usually a good sign. Uh, I can't go down? That was weird. That was weird. It's... This is kind of ridiculous. I mean, it's the fact that I'm hitting him twice with this. <laughs> well, never mind. I think that gun is just horrendously busted and I love it. Please be the end of the run. That very much looked... Oh yeah, that was the end of the run. World reconfiguration completed. Exception. Discover the blue chip. What? Well... I got some things I can do. So... Uh, let's see, a central module. Hercules, max load capacity, but overload dash cannot be used. Heat generation at launch is increased by 20%. Damage to self due to overheating is reduced by 50%. Damage from enemy attacks due to overheating is increased by 20% overheated. Launchers do extra damage. Ninja, current weight is less than 40% of the maximum. Move speed is locked at 1.2 times the maximum of the mobility system. Critical damage, ooh. That's... I'm going to try Ultra Heat, though, because that sounds kind of fun. We also have increased the def default load by 1% uh, per level, weapon spinning speed by 2% per level, move speed by 1% per level, base damage by 1% per level, attack rate. I love the idea of just upping base load. And it looks like it doesn't scale. You just put an endless amount of resources into that, which I seems weird. I also have a lot of blue chips. Oh. Oh. So I... What, do I, what am I going to use all these blue chips for? Wait. Enhance unlock. Uh, it doesn't look like that's in the game. So I got something with these blue chips. But I can't do anything with it. I have a lot. Why? What for? I don't know. Either way, this was a lot of fun. It definitely seems like the game isn't done yet, is the big answer. And that, you know, until it is actually completed, I don't really want to put too much time into it, just because it seems like it's missing some things. I don't know why I have all these blue chips out in the, uh, you know, base game. Unless, of course, I can carry them with me into the next run. Oh, we can also pick a uh, harder difficulty. Well, that's there for people if the game's too easy. Or do I just have all of my blue chips between runs? What? Oh, okay. That seems confusing. If I return to the lobby, do I just keep them all? Probably not. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Nope. Looks like it's been reset. That's a shame. But is what it is. Uh, it's one of those where, uh, maybe you can just snowball loop runs and, and become ridiculous if you wanted to. But for now, at least, I think I'm going to wait for this game to come out in 1.0. It, the pixel art is great, the music is fantastic, and I love the gameplay. 
but it's one of those that I would much rather play this in its in a better state, slightly better translations maybe, more content, and obviously just more interesting features to mess around with between runs. Uh, I hope it's in early access. If, it, if it's not, I'm going to be very confused. But with all of that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe. Uh, because I got tons of them to check out and tons of tons of roguelikes too. But with that, uh, I guess one final thing. I forgot to mention that Metal Mind is available on Steam now for like 15 bucks. It's on sale down from 20 I think. Uh, I could be wrong on that one, but it doesn't really matter too much. Anyway, with all that said, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.